to a developing story on Houston's north side. Police investigating after a woman was found shot to death inside a home. It happened on San Julio Street near Yale Street, just south of Tidwell. Channel 2's Brittany Jeffers live now with an update for us. Brittany? Yeah, Dominique, I can tell you detectives have been out here for hours and that tragic investigation taking place in the neighborhood behind me, just behind those gates. Now, I am told by homicide detectives that at this point they haven't named any suspects in the case, but they are speaking with persons of interest. Crime scene tape and detectives surround this home, now the center of a homicide investigation. Detectives say this started when an alarm system was triggered at a residence on 300 San Julio Drive. Right now, uh, things do indicate uh, potential foul play. Uh, however, there's uh, not necessarily indication of a break-in. Inside, detectives discovered a grim scene, the homeowner dead from an apparent gunshot wound. According to HBD homicide detective Ben Rothberg, preliminary investigation leads them to believe that a door triggered the alarm, but nothing's missing from inside the house, or so it seems. He says the victim is in her late 50s, and right now no suspects have been identified, but detectives are in the process of speaking with persons of interest in the case. When I asked if the community or neighborhood should be concerned about a potential gunman on the loose. Every indication right now points to that this was an isolated incident and that there's there's no reason for this community to to have any fear of um, of, of retaliation or or any other um, altercation related to it. Now, as far as what happens next in this case, detectives say that they're going to focus their time trying to see if there is any surveillance video at that home or its surrounding homes. Of course, they say if you have any information on this case to contact HPD or Crime Stoppers. We're live on Houston's north side. I'm Brittany Jeffers, KPRC, Channel 2 News.